Okay, so now we have the ESC. I don't know if you guys can see that. The ESC is installed on the bottom. Um, I basically just put some uh, Velcro on the bottom to hook it on, um, and then I secured it with some uh, uh, zip ties. Um, this is for the battery. This is holding the battery on, so um, it just. Uh, Barely fits. I also installed my uh, my uh, power module, so I'll clean up all these wires here in a little bit. So um, I've already hooked up the the all the um, motors, um, and like I said before in one of the videos, it uh, I thought the B was uh, ground or something, but it's really not. It really doesn't matter what you plug it into. Um, you can just plug them in, turn it on. And uh, and then what you do is you just set your motor uh, direction, which uh, all that is is just by changing a couple of the plugs. Usually what I do is I leave the black one plugged in, and then I'll just switch off the blue or red, or if it's blue or red and yellow, you know, depending on whatever whatever motor you have, some colors are different. So um, one problem I did. Uh, I, I already did try to do some of the calibrations and stuff with it, and uh, uh, it wasn't working at first. So I had to, uh, one of the things we had to do was to get this, this to work on the motors. Um, I had you, what you have to do is you have to take each one of your leads and individually bypass if you're using an APM or a NAS, NAS uh, and, or a Pixhawk or whatever you have to take each one of your leads and plug it into the uh, the number three channel which is your throttle channel on here and you have to um, you have to calibrate it that way um, you do basically it's uh, it's pretty simple I'll just do one really quick here for you um, Them plug everything. Um, so basically, it's uh, remove channel three. Take one of your leads. Plug it into the lead, and then you take your radio, a very simple AeroSky radio. You turn it on, and you take your throttle and put it on up. And that'll put what that'll do is that'll put it when the power on the ESC it'll put it in programming mode so we'll do that really quick right now so what you'll get is you'll plug it in and you'll hear like a beep or a beep beep really quick and after that when you hear that you put your throttle down if I can get it plugged in Do that to beep beep. Take your throttle, put it down. And you hear that. So with this ESC, that's the sound you'll hear. So whatever motor was plugged in, you'll hear that and now okay, so it's this one, see? So now that one works. So what you do is do the same sequence for every single one just by itself. So what you do is you unplug, unplug this. Turn off your radio, unplug this, take, a, take one of the other ones, put it in, same thing, turn your radio on, put uh, the throttle, you know, turn your radio on, put your throttle up, plug it in, and then once you hear that first two beeps, you take the, your throttle, pull it back down, and it'll beep, beep, do a couple things, saying it receive that command, and then once the last couple beeps you hear, You'll put your throttle up, and as long as the as long as it throttles up, as long as the the motor starts spinning, then what you want to do is complete the process. You know, unplug the quadcopter, pull it out, put another one in, do the same process for all four motors. Um, mine was not working at all until I did that. So um, have to calibrate the ESC for for the throttle. So um, I couldn't do it. There's ways to do it if you have um, 
like a four-in-one uh, wire you can do it and it'll do them all for you um, I have one somewhere but I couldn't find it so I just did it this way so um, hopefully that uh, alleviates a lot of people that think they might have a, a dead <laughs> ESC which I thought I did at first um, but uh, luckily I figured out that one so um, alright so I'm gonna get this thing plugged back in um, get it all tidied up uh, with some of the wires and uh, we'll come back to the motor uh, direction on how to set that and if it's not going the way it's supposed to be.